Today's workout is cardio and core fusion. All you need is your water bottle, maybe a mat for some core work, and let's do it. All right, we're moving side to side, breathing, just getting into the movement, into the workout. I'm excited for this one. Anytime you've got some cardio, you've got some core, you've got a good workout. We're up at, on the roof, you've got the beautiful mountains behind us. All you need to do is keep moving, all right? The cardio core combo hopefully will give you an excuse. If you don't like the cardio, you've got the core. If you don't like the core, you've got the cardio. All right, let's take our heels up towards our glutes. Reach and pull. Remember why we're warming up, all right? Don't skip the warm up. Hang in there, it's short, okay? It's not a long warm up, so you can hang in there and do some light movement for just a couple of minutes. Because we want to get our body moving, we want to get our blood flowing, we want to engage that core so it's ready to go for the workout. Let's do high knee, reach and pull, reach and pull. Remember, it's a great day to have a great day. It all just depends on how you look at it. It is a day that the Lord has made, okay? So we can be excited about it, excited about what He does today, how He uses us today. Breathe, reach and pull. Good, let's do a little bit of side steps, side shuffle, but we're stepping it. Step, 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 step. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Um, I have noticed that I've had um, a couple new subscribers, and so I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Ali. I am a missionary wife in Arequipa, Peru, um, and I like to work out. <laughs> so I think that's all you really need to know. I've been teaching fitness exercises since um, I turned 18 and haven't stopped since. <laughs> I've got three. Um, three kiddos and a puppy. A puppy. Can't forget the puppy now. Side to side step. Breathe in, breathe out. Whew. My sister and brother-in-law are here, here in Peru right now visiting us. So we've got lots of fun stuff planned. All right, toe tap. Activate that core. Good. Let's do outside crunch. A little more of these since we're doing some core work today. And let's run it out. Running jog. Breathe in, push in. Great job, you guys. Pick it up, pick it up. Turning this warm up into a workout. And you can pause there. Grab water if you like. You got 15 seconds before we get into the real fun. All right, moving to one. We did a version of it in our warm up, but we're doing a butt kick. Heels to the glutes, get ready. That's our timer. Get them up and pump. Pump those arms. Get those legs up. Step it for low impact. So I'm going to do my best to give you guys that low impact. Run and push. You got it. 10 more seconds. Pump. Run. Go. Breathe. And pause, you have a pause here, but you're coming, actually for this one, you're not coming down to that. We're standing for our first core move. It is some toe taps. So we did a version of it in our warm up. Toe tap, toe tap. Again, breathing in, breathing out. You're reaching for that toe. If you can't actually tap it, you can just reach. But of course, that tap, way better. To get that core engaged. Tap and breathe. Tap and breathe. Come on, come on. Good stuff, right? We are still standing. All right, next is our cardio move. We've got our jumping jack. Low impact, step your jack. All right, get ready. Here we go. Hands above the head. So we just have a 10 second transition. And then you're right into the move. Here's your low impact. You can take away if you've got shoulder issues. Move, tap, push, breathe. All right, I think that's everything. <laughs> Let's go. Deep breaths. 
little more pause all right now we're coming down to the mat we're doing a bicycle crunch so sit on back hands behind your head and we're gonna bicycle 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 control control bring that elbow across I prefer you control it all right rather than go crazy fast but not really reach all the way come on push it you got it and pause all right it's a it's our cardio move but we're gonna roll it on over all right so we're on the ground we're doing some mountain climber shoulders over their wrists and we run it out lower impact you can march it if you want to stay standing you're standing mountain climbers right here all right climb and reach but do the best you can stay in it keep running keep pushing this one's kind of cheating because it's cardio and it's core come on come on core tight hips are even pause Whew. all right we're back up we're going to that first move if you remember it those are back kicks heels to the glutes let's do it run it out pump make sure you're getting the heels up i'd rather you be lower impact with the heels up then move them quick but not with the correct movement all right come on run and push go 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 almost there pause Whew. all right toe taps straight leg toe tap reach breathe move let's go feel that core tighten tap that toe keep that leg straight breathe and work You got it. Come on. Pause. Great job. All right, back to our cardio. It's that jumping jack. Let's have some fun with it. I'll give you some more options. Here we go. Hands above the head. Jumping jack. Now, if you like, you can move forward and jack back. Forward and back. Add in another little element. Let's go, let's go. Pause. Whew. All right, now we're down to the mat. It's those bicycles. Be controlled. Move. Bicycle, bicycle. Come on, we're going for a bike ride. Let's have fun with it. Going through the countryside. I don't know where you like to ride your bike. Maybe along the beach, wherever it is. Go there and ride your bike. Five more seconds. Pause. All right, last one, then you get to recover. All right, we're rolling it on over the mountain climbers. Breathe and push. Keep your shoulders over the wrist. Bring those knees in, core tight. All you gotta do is keep moving. Come on, 10 more seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Almost there. Three, two, one. Pause. Breathe, you guys. It's 10 out of 10. Take a second to grab some water. Recover.
breathe, release, keep moving. Whew. Some good stuff, right? You should be feeling good, feeling proud of how far you've come. So we still have some fun, all right? So that's some fun plans. Same thing, cardio core moves, new moves though, all right? In and out arms, so we're starting, arms out, legs out. Kind of like our jumping jack, a little different. Here we go. Breathe and push. Lower impact, you can step that jumping jack. Let's go. Come on, come on. Push it. All right, next is our core move. It's standing core again. We're doing that oblique crunch. Here we go, side to side. Crunch, 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 crunch. Good job, you guys. You guys can keep moving. You got it. Crunch, crunch. Come on. A little more. And pause. All right, that next move is our tap down lunge. This one, every time we do it, I wake up sore. So I think we need to keep doing it. We're lunging. Tap together. Tap together. Tap. 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 Lower impact. You're going to step back. Tap. Step back. One by one. Lean. That really gets you going. Pause. Whew. Good job. All right, we're coming down into a plank for our core work. Shoulders over the wrists. Hold your plank. And we're going to walk our hands, go up, up, out, out, back, back, in, in, up, up, out, out, back, back, in, and keep those hips steady, and move. Pause. Thank goodness. So we're holding that over for our cardio core move. We're gonna come up to a tabletop and we're gonna kick some crab kicks. And if you're able, you're gonna kick it out. Kick, kick. We're doing some fun break dancing. We're working our core and getting our heart rate up. Come on, keep kicking. Almost there. Pause. Whew. All right, back up. You don't got a lot of time. In and out arms. Back to that first move. Let's do it. Arms out. Legs out. Move and change. Let's go. Now let's do like that, Jack. Let's go forward and back. Forward and back. Get those arms up. Pause. We're really flying. Good job, you guys. All right, next is standing oblique crunch. Reach oblique. Come on. Brace that core and move. Good job, you guys. Keep moving. Hang in there. A little more. 
pause. Whew. All right, tap down, lunge. It's a fun one. Hopefully it makes us wake up sore tomorrow. Tap down and up. Tap together, tap together. Remember you can just reach. If you can't really tap the ground, you can step and reach. Keep that core tight. Reaching down. A little more. Pause. <sighs> All right, down to the mat. Hit your plank. Shoulders over the wrist. Hold it first. Then walk up, up, out, out, back, back, in, in, around the world. Back and in. Keep your hips from rocking if you can. A little more. Pause. How are you guys doing? I can see the finish line. Fight through one more. Come up. Crab kicks. You're just kicking, kicking. Core tight. Otherwise, kick, kick, push, push. Come on, 10 seconds. Almost there. Collapse. Breathe. Release. We're on the ground. We want to stretch it out a little bit while we're here. Let's take our legs straight in front of us. Big inhale. Exhale. Hold forward. Reach and hold. Remember, it's not bringing that chest down towards your legs. But hold this as a reverse for you. We are reading our verse in Psalms 118. It's verses 8 through 9. It says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All right, again, fully forward. Again, a simple, simple verse. Whew. Let's reach up. Throw your hands behind your chest to the sky. We're putting confidence in the Lord. That's what you have to choose to do. It's easy sometimes to put our trust in man, including putting your trust in yourself. I think a lot of times people who are like, I can't trust anybody, but deep down they trust themselves. <laughs> um, that's maybe what the world would say. You can only trust yourself, lean forward. Um, but you know, the Bible says we can trust the Lord. Um, our hearts are deceptive, um, but not the Lord. And so I just want to encourage you today. Maybe um, somebody has hurt you or I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I want to encourage you to take the other foot over that you do have someone you can trust in um, at all times because here in the world, people eventually will fail you. <laughs> we are human. Um, it's, it's unfortunately, I'm not perfect. I'll say it. I'm sure I failed you somewhere. The way, and I apologize, but the truth is that we can trust in the Lord. Um, things will never fail us. So there's a little bit of grab up into the and tuck it on in. And so this verse hopefully is encouraging to you to know that you have a friend at all times. You've got someone who's got your back at all times, someone who wants the best for you. Fold down. And even more so than someone who's got something for you, but he has given us purpose to live for him. All right, let's push back into a down hug. Um, I just told a friend yesterday, sometimes we think that God is created for us, um, and he sure does give us a ton of great things, a relationship with him, a friend, someone we can trust in. 
but really we were created for him so if you're losing your purpose if you're losing um, your reason for living in this world um, I want you to look at your purpose to God in Christ um, share the good news with somebody else ask God to lead you to guide you in what way he can use you today and that is the key it is fun to protect it it is fun to serve the Lord alright it's not easy but it's a whole lot it's not boring either alright I'll say that go ahead inhale lift exhale release feels good right another big inhale breathe in exhale release my microphone says we're done and one more big inhale breathe in exhale Release. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're good and sweaty. You've got the most intense I do. I'll see you guys next time. And seriously, most importantly, I'll see you next time.